Hey, it's Chris, and in today's video, we talk about pedals for your Peloton bike. So what are clip-in pedals and why do you want to use them? There are two parts that work together to make clip-in pedals work. The first is the pedal and the second is the cleat that is attached to your shoe. When you are ready to clip in, you push your foot down and forward until a spring in the pedal clips your cleat in, securing you to the bike. To unclip, you twist your heel outwards until the cleat is released. So why use clip-in pedals on a Peloton bike? Well, first you get more power with each pedal stroke. You get power by pushing forward and down with your quads like normal pedals, but with clip-in pedals, you also can pull back harder and up with your hamstrings. This means you're getting a full 360 degree pedal stroke, which means more power. Another advantage of clip-in pedals is they provide you with more control while standing because you are literally attached to the Peloton bike. Ultimately, they're more efficient and just a smoother ride. There are primarily two type of clip-in, also known as clipless systems. The three bolt for road cycling and the two bolt for mountain biking and bike commuting. The three bolt road cycling cleats have a much larger surface area that's more stable and allows more of your power to be transferred to the bike. But they're really large, they're hard to walk in and kind of slippery when you try to walk. These are the type I use and usually put them on beside my bike before getting on. They're also the type that come with your Peloton bike. Mountain bike cleats are much smaller and some shoes have them built into the sole, allowing you to walk around much easier. But with a much smaller surface area, they transfer less power to the bike. So which should you pick? Well, if you already have a road bike with clip-in pedals, then simple, just buy the same ones for your Peloton bike. You won't need to buy new shoes and they all work about the same. If you have a mountain bike, then it's a little harder of a question to answer. If you're happy with them, then buy a set for your Peloton. But if you want to get the maximum amount of effort transferred to the Peloton, so you can produce the highest output and scream up the lid of your board, you may want to think about road cleats. When it comes to road cleats, the Peloton bike comes with the Look Delta clip-in pedal. Look is the company's name and the Delta is the type of pedal from that brand. The pedal system is an older road cycling pedal that has been eclipsed by newer types of three bolt systems like the Look Kio or the Shimano SPD SL. Look Delta cleats come in red that provide nine degrees of float or black that provides zero. So float is the amount that your heel can move from inward and outward on the bike. If you have zero degrees of float, then your feet will be completely locked into place. Having some float slash that movement gives you some leeway if your pedals are not set up perfectly or if you have a leg injury or limited movement. If you've never used clip-in pedals, then red is probably where you should start because they are very forgiving. Another type of road pedal is the Look Kio. These are Look's newer pedals that came out in 2004 and provide a greater surface area but way less. If you go to their website, you'll see these are the pedals they are pushing the most now. They're available in red with nine degrees of float, gray with 4.5, and black with zero degrees. The type of row pedals I use are the Shimano SPD SL. The SL at the end is very important because the Shimano SPD without the SL is the two bolt mountain biking pedal. Shimano SPD SL look like look Kyo cleats, but they are not compatible. I changed from the standard Peloton Look Delta pedals because I'm planning on buying an entry-level road bike and using SPD SL pedals. I also want to experiment with cleats that have less float. There are other types of road bike clip-in systems and each has their pros and cons, but ultimately using any type of clip-in pedal will provide you with a better Peloton biking experience once you've gotten used to them. The ride will feel smoother and you will get more output with each pedal stroke. I can only recommend the two bolt mountain biking pedals if you already have a mountain bike and you don't want to have to deal with another set of shoes. Even with a smaller surface area, they will provide more control and power transfer than not using clip-in pedals. So what clip-in pedals are you using or thinking about using? Let me know in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like this, then please hit subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in my next video.